as you know the mercury poisoning metallic poisoning is a part of irritant poisoning irritant poisoning means poisons which irritate the gi tract and it causes gastrointestinal symptoms if you are vomiting it's true it's true mainly it's true that so this is a mercury poisoning mercury is commonly uh, present in some water uh, industries medical instruments and not commonly available but it commonly used in the instruments measuring instruments barometers swinging barometers thermometers mirror industries and so many industries where the workers are known for the acute and chronic poisoning so mark so we are starting with the today's session with the mercury poisoning the other selenium names of the mercury poisoning are quick silver because its color resembles the silver quick silver formally given by the quacks into day to day life formally used by the quacks or liquid silver these are the common synonyms alternative words for the mercury physical appearance of the mercury is different form from the mercury the metallic or element forms which commonly used in the barometers thermometers in organic or mercury salts the mercury salts also cause poisoning organic or organo mercury compounds and each has a different toxicological profile due to their absorption and metabolism each have a different types of uh, action on the body and each of these poisons the salts the elements absorb different ways in the human body starting with the elemental mercury as i said earlier yeah. elemental mercury <coughs> commonly used in the swinging manometers thermometers barometers liquid as room temperature volatile easily when you open it up from the where it is uh, uh, composite in the thermometers barometers and swinging manometers it breaks and it evaporates rapidly from these in organic mercury the traditional remedies the chinese medicine the ayurvedic medicine is commonly used by in organic mercury commonly used by the quacks used in the gold extraction to separate the gold from the other metals <coughs> caustic soda manufacturing and rodenticides commonly it is present in the rodenticides uh poisons so formally taken in a, in a home remedies right? in a home uh, for mistaken by the rodenticide poison may be mistaken as for the other materials so it cause severe acute poisoning the organic mercury fungicides seed dressings commonly used in the see agriculture for methyl mercury in the fish so it commonly present in the food stuffs organic mercury so it may cause also acute to chronic poisoning it commonly cause chronic poisoning but very very little acute poisoning so this is a picture of the common things that the mercury is commonly used in the barometers thermometers and the in the rodenticides poisons and other materials which is like dye dye industry mirror industries so many industries the mercury is used for the shining to give the shines to the colors and to the things to shine the polished the rubber materials so, so many industries use the mercury as a, as a compound in their products <coughs> it also used in the dental works in the dental fillings you know the mercury may accidentally digested and it may cause acute poisoning Elemental mercury, we have it as a liquid, non-poisonous, taken by the mouth. It is non-poisonous, it is taken by the mouth, but it absorbs, evaporates at room temperature. It absorbs from the lungs, so it may cause severe poisoning. Otherwise, in the stomach acid, 
stomach acid make it as a non poisonous so it is heavy silver liquid in organic mercury salts are two types mercury is monovalent mercury less soluble less poisonous the salts of the mercury the monovalent mercury is oxide that is less soluble less poisonous for example mercury is chloride chloramine mercury is bivalent mercury that is more soluble more poisonous that is corrosive sublimate that is more poisonous it is mercury is uh chloride less soluble so it causes less poisoning but mercury is monovalent polyvalent or bivalent or polyvalent mercury chloride it is corrosive sublimate the second name it is more poisonous or the mercury sulfide the vermilion common you in the uh, indian uh, subcontinent vermilion it contains the uh, if it is solved accidentally or uh, suicide it is very lethal one and cause death within limited minutes or seconds organic mercury more toxic and comprises compounds such as phenyl metho methoxmethyl We continue. The introduction has. This is a picture where the mercury is used in different industries, especially in the dyeing industries, mineral industries, medicine where the mercury is used as a medicine, and in the poisons, herbicides, so different products, different dyes, different industries use the mercury. And the workers, the work they are the prone for the, the fumes of the hot metallic mercury and get intoxicated, especially the chronic poisoning due to mercury, metallic mercury. This is a dental filling, so the mercury used for the dental fillings. Accidentally, it detaches from the tooth and go into the GI and cause poisoning. Elemental mercury. It's heavy silver liquid, non-poisonous. It is taken by the mouth. It vaporizes at room temperatures. So in organic mercury, salts are two types. We have already discussed this slide. Organic mercury more toxic and comprises of compounds such as phenyl. We also discussed this slide, and we we'll start from their mode of action. How the mercury? Act in the human body after inhalation. The elemental mercury absorbed through the alveolar membrane of the lungs, enters the blood stream, converts to mercury ion in blood, then leads to the renal tubules in the kidney, damage it in children, it inhibits the myelin formation in the nerves. Neurological problems occur commonly in the children. Mercury blocks the degeneration pathway of the catecholamines by inactivating. This so, as adenosine methionine causes excessive epinephrine, mercury compounds inhibition of the several enzymes like dimethyl mercury. It inhibits this enzyme dimethyl mercury, mercury compound, and cause. And this is the mode of action how the mercury enter in the human body by different ways. Number one by inhalation through direct <coughs> alveolar membrane. The blood leads to the kidney, to the renal tubule, damage it. Children demyelination of the nerves. Mercury blocks also the degeneration pathway of the catecholamines by inactivity. As adenosine methionine causes excessive epinephrine, epinephrine production, and it also causes this mode of action and causes poisoning. Mercury compounds inhibition of the several enzymes like. Dimethyl mercury. So these are different mode of action how the mercury act in the human body. Inhibition of the cellular enzymes by binding hydroxyl radicals leads to immune allergic reactive reactive conditions like generalized corrosive action. It acts also like the corrosive sublimate, protein precipitation in the and causes the 
stuck in the tubules in the kidney and nephrotic uh, in the kidneys and cause poison. Route of administration, common route of administration and the poisoning are oral and inhalation, oral inhalation, absorption through skin and wounds, open wounds, parental injections, very rare, but parental injection may be of a homicidal poisoning. But these are the accidental roots of um, all of the oral inhalation, absorption to skin and open wounds. In the olden days, the antiseptics contain the mercury, like the red, red antiseptic contain the mercury chloride, mercury uh, chloride type of antiseptics. So long dressing, long time dressing cause chronic mercury poisoning through the dressing in the open wounds. This is an example of absorption through skin and open wounds. Other signs and symptoms, loss of memory, mental confusion, allergies, irritability, high blood pressure and heart problems, weight gain, digestion problems, fatigueness, due to in the muscles, the skin rashes, joint stiffness, immune dysfunction, cold feet and balance problem. These are the common problem of the mercury poisoning. Cloning one people. Marketing absorption, different percentage absorbed through different routes, different ways absorbed through different route inhalation, 60 to 80 percent, dermal 3 to 50 percent, GIT is, um, may vary, so it is not written over here. Metallic 0.2 percent, inorganic 15 percent, organic more than 90 percent. So this is absorption percentage. Of different roots and metallic and organic and organic material. Root of excretion is as commonly excreted through urine, kidneys, from GI through feces, mild amounts to saliva, sweat, and milk, in pregnant uh, conditions, process placental barriers, and they cause poisoning in the fetus. Fatal doses, ingested amount, which is a fatal 100 grams in the young adult. 100 grams of mercury is enough to cause acute poisoning. So, this is the mercury chloride 0.5 to 1 gram is 70 kg is enough to cause so this is the Mercury chloride, mercurous chloride, mercury chloride 0.5 to 1 gram, 70 kg, mercurous chloride 1.5 to 2 grams in 70 kg. Organic mercury poisoning is rare, but if occurs, it's very severe. So, exposure injection, topical inhalation, these are the root of ingestion of the organic mercury poison. Serious toxicity, poor, if the serious toxicity occurs, poor concentration, fatigue, ataxia, tremors, constricted visual fields, coma and convulsions, BM separations, dental toxicity, renal toxicity, dealkylization of the inorganic form, so, and poor response for the treatment is the renal toxicity, dealkylization to the inorganic form, poor response for the treatment. This is the sign and symptom of the organic mercury where it causes toxicity in the human body. So topical inhalation, ingestion, exposure, serious toxicity, VM suppression, renal toxicity, and poor response to the treatment. Inorganic mercury poisoning, gastrointestinal phase, mercury is a potent GI irritant. Inorganic mercury poisoning causes potent GI irritant, lingvitis, somatitis, esophageal, gastric, small, and large bowel erosions, 
hematemesis, blood di bloody diarrhea, and serious collapse. Systemic toxicity, mercury inhibits the sulfidyl enzymes, hypotension, lactic acidosis. And nephrotoxicity, deposit in the renal tubules, acute renal tubule nephritis uh, or acute renal failure occurs, potentially leads to chronic renal failure in the survivors. If a person survives, it may have a chronic renal failure. The person may have a chronic renal failure. So it causes acute renal failure, leads to death. Otherwise, if the person survives, it causes chronic renal failure in the survivor. In age, elemental mercury, respiratory tract, cause cough, dyspnea, pulmonary edema, DIDS, or distress syndrome, mental fumes. The metal fumes may cause fever, pyrexia, cough, malaise, flu-like symptoms, serious features, confusion, emotion, emotional liability, psychosis, con convalience, serious depression, and serious depression in the coma. Renal effects are really acute renal failure. Oxidation due to of the mercury cause rarely acute renal failure. Intravenous, intramuscular, elemental mercury when given or taken in the addicts or given in the homicidal intention, local complication, thrombophilivitis, infections, granuloma formation, embolic complication, and mercurialism. These are the intravenous or intramuscular elemental mercury complications, local complications. Diagnosis. It may be radio opaque on the radiographs. So it may mercury is a radio, make a radio opacity on the radiographs. So it is seen commonly seen on the radiographs. Blood mercury level, normal level is less than 3 mg per 100 ml. Symptom is the blood mercury, 150 to 200 micrograms per liter. Symptom arise up to 200 micrograms per liter. One start from 150. The so normal level is less than 3 milli, milligram per 100 ml, blood mercury level. Up to 3 milligram per 100 ml of the blood, it suggests to be normal level. More than 150 to 200 micrograms per liter, not a milligram, it is, I think it is microgram. 3 microgram per 100 ml. Or 150 to 200 microgram per liter, it is said to be symptom starts. Urine mercury level, Probably most reliable indicator you know, we may have through urine levels to know the toxicity. Normal level is less than 10 to 15 microgram per 100 ml. Normal level. If poisoning is there, then more than 100 to 150 microgram per liter, it is said to be symptoms or toxicity in the human body. Air analysis done by the cold vapor atomic absorption spectrometry. External con contamination can, however, be violated by the results. This is a radiograph showing the mercury on the radiograph, opacity of the mercury. Treatment. Forensic is not interested in a treatment, but somehow you must know that treatment. Metallic mercury and inorganic compounds. Inhalation removal from the source of exposure, immediate removal from the exposure. Source of exposure, supportive measures, chelation, injection, but ingest, take x rays and repeat it to study the progress, repeatedly x rays, administrative, administer the legislative medicines to expel it out from GI, demulsions for the corrosive compounds such as mercury chloride, give the demulsions like the oily products, or banana. Uh, or the other things to expel it out readily. Demulsions are the oily products, but are really, it, it makes the coat around the stomach and prevent the touching of the metallic compounds like mercury chloride to cause corrosive type of action in the stomach. The stomach wash immediately take it out, advisable to the egg, egg white or 5% albumin or just plain milk to lavage the fluid to bind the mercury. These products add the binding of the mercury with them, like add plain milk, albumins, 
and take it out from stomach wall closing. And on a, on a block compound, the specific chemical antidote, like 250 ml of 5% solution of the sodium for maldehyde sulfoxalate should be used for the stomach wash, 100 ml of the 250 ml of 5% solution. The specific chemical antidote, this is a specific chemical antidote, 5% 250 ml sodium of the maldehyde sulfoxalate should be used for the stomach wash. So this is also as a stomach wash, but also as a specific antidote. But by by methods, in severe acidosis, peritoneal dialysis or hemodialysis may be needed. Give symptomatic treatment for the shock and collapse. Injection if there is abscess formation, perform a repeated incision to remove the mercury. Monitor the CNS and renal functions. For the evidence of toxicity, mercury salts are relatively well absorbed from activated charcoal, chelation, mercury, mercury, mercury lentils, supportive. Uh, organic materials with supportive measures, uh, chelating is not a very effective. So, supportive gives the supportive measure of treatment. And the sign symptom arises, treatment may be given. Acrodynia, mercury syndrome in children is called acrodynia. Usually related to elemental mercury exposed to uh, two reports secondary or inorganic exposure. So exposed to reports secondary to inorganic exposure. It's called six P's, hands and feet, feet are the sign and symptoms, sign and symptoms, six P's, puppy, face, pink, face, painful feeling, for aesthetic uh, perspiration, perspiring. These are the six P's of the patient who shows the mercury poisoning in the children, mercury poisoning in the children, associated with the weight loss, anorexia, irritability, behavioral changes, hypertension can mimic the pseudochromocytoma, uh, mercury inhibits the catechomine, methyl transferase enzyme. So, it may accumulate in the bodies. So these are the signs and symptoms of the acrodynia in the children. Special not clear. Hand and feet are pink, puppy face, acrodynia caused by the mercury. Chronic poisoning, a result of after effects of an acute attack, repeatedly acute attack. So, Chronic poisoning occurs by in the in the US medicine, medical administration by inhalation of the vapors of the factory workers or as in the by inhalation of the uh, inhalation of the vapors in the factory workers as in the manufacture of thermometer in the mirror industries, ultraviolet operators, barometers, fingerprints. The dye used in the fingerprint, the police officer engaged in fingerprints detection work. The fingerprints powder contain the mercury, they call the chronic poisoning. Signs so, of the chronic poisoning metallic taste in the mouth, foul breath, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, painful salivary glands, leading to increased flow of salivation known as stylism, painful and inflamed gums, which may be ulcerated. Occasionally present in the blue black line on the, over the gums. Teeth become loose and necrosis of the jaw may be occur. The chronic mercury poisoning. Apparatus is a serious complication and renal insufficiency may progress in uremia. Irritation of the skin, uh, skin may occur and there may be a penetration of ulcers on the fingers and nail and the conkles. Absorption in the pregnant lady is common. Mercury lentis, uh, mercury ring found around the lens in the eye. If the lens in the eye brownish discoloration of the capsule of the lens of the eye due to the deposition of the mercury, chronic deposition of the mercury observed through the slit lamp, one of the earliest sign of chronic mercury point. Mercury tremors, hatter's shake, Danbury tremors. These are the tremors which are coarse and affect first muscles of the tongue. So speech becomes stammering, 
then effect the muscle on the face, arms, and legs. Then it becomes coarse and intense fevers, exaggerated by the voluntary effects such as writing, speaking, eating, and absent during sleep. The tumors can be detected only from person handwriting letter from the stammering speech. The tumors also known as letter shake in the chronic mercury poisoning. Mercury trialism. Eritism, it is peculiar disturbance of personality characters by shyness, loss of confidence, emotional depression, irritability, tumors, loss of memory, insomnia, hallucination, delusions of injury, supervene and may lead to insanity. It is called Margaret Eritism, irritability. There is an incoordination of movements, increased deep reflexes. Sometimes paralysis of the limbs, followed by peripheral neuritis, a cut, cough, and bloody, bloody expectorations, uh, uh, generalized resting of the muscles, anemia, and chronic nephritis, and death may occur in the last due to from exhaustion of the after the sometime due to the, in the few months. Treatment: remove the patient from the source of exposure. Gargle with mouth and end suffering regularly as a slow amount of uh, mercury is absorbed day to day basis. Warm baths keep the, uh, the patient, keep, uh, keep the bowel open by saline palliatives regularly. From salivation, I mean, for salivation, I mean, injection of sodium thiosulfate, those of 5 to 6 grams in the 5 cc of water on alternative day. A course of IV injection for the British anti levodite is beneficial. This is a bell is a specific against the chronic mercury treatment. Bell is a specialized medicine against the metals. Persons are advised to take the milk freely, physiotherapy for the muscles properly, prophylactic measures, adequate ventilation, and periodic medical checks are necessary for the treatment. If the death occurs, body appears shunken, eye shunken, pupils are dilated. Lips, mouth, and tongue show diffuse grayish white corrugation and erosions. Internal findings open the body and viscerals, grayish discoloration, corrugation, stomach inflate, ashy colored stomach, required material, placed, it will be corrugated, liver show fatty degenerations, heart also shows the fatty degenerations, some endocardial and hemorrhages. Kidney shows tubular necrosis, cecum, large intestine, rectum are inflamed, show gangrenous changes if the patient survives six or more days. Homicidal, given in the milk, medical legal importance, butter or ghee or any white drink because it is tasteless and the color could easily be altered. So it is given as a homicidal intention. Accidental when used as an antiseptic for washing abscesses, cavities. A long dressing or you know, irrigations from the these uh, natural orifices. Accidentally poisoning also occurs in the children, sometimes used for the suicide, and rarely used for the abortion. So, this is all about mercury poisoning, metallic mercury poisoning. Thank you very much. Okay, sir.